We all love the Straw Hats. They're probably the best crew in all anime right now. I know that's a hot take, but you gotta admit, they're all W mans. They're always ready to put a new op pack in the air. Every op shot, fella. Everything dead. We also gotta admit that they all got some pretty serious addictions. Like Zoro, who is definitely an alcoholic, he can't stop drinking. He always has a bottle of sake when there's a celebration. One Piece has shown him participate in a drinking contest on Whiskey Peak and carry around jugs and barrels of beers. Zoro really knows how to get lit, he'll probably take a bottle and start dancing with the community. Now Sanji, this man has a strong addiction to cigs. Bro literally smokes while smoking an op. It can't get more disrespectful than that. He can't managed to put the nick down but to be fair though he probably didn't know they were as addicted when he started and by the time he realized it it was already too late he was already hooked on the head buzz. stop it get some help Moving on to Nami. She is in love with money. When we first meet her she was really robbing everything in sight. I'm gonna keep it above I robbed you gang she is literally the Scrooge McDuck of anime. The reason she is obsessed with money is because of what happened with Arlong. So now she knows in case of an emergency, she needs to have her pockets on swole. Now Frankie on the other hand, he's a cokehead. I know what you were thinking. It's not the one that you snort guys, it's the one that you drink. When Frankie's on coke, he's on his Superman. Sound familiar? Now we all know his need for coke is a joke at Americans love for coca cola, but his coke dependency is crazy. Bro literally intakes a couple cokes and turns into a beast. But without coke, bro is literally as harmless as skinny Johnny Bravo. Usopp is a compulsive liar. He lies about things that he doesn't even have to lie about. He's really a troll. A prime example of this is when he was about to fight Luffy and he starts talking about I got 8,000 men on my side. I really thought to myself, there is no way someone is actually taking this serious, but boy, I was wrong. Now let's talk about the perk demon, Tony Tony Chopper. This man literally abuses steroids with his rumble balls. When he pops one rumble ball, he's fine. But when he's on three, bro wants smoke with everyone in sight. Literally gives everyone a fade, no matter if they're friends or enemies. Before we move on to more Straw Hats addictions, we want to thank you for watching this video and supporting our channel by saving you guys money this holiday season. If you want cheap but great gifts this holiday season, check out Timu. They have a large collection of anime stuff for a very low price, perfect for the holidays. And if you want to save even more money in your pockets, use our discount code, links in the description below. Now let's get back to the video. Luffy is a food addict. He can't stop eating. I don't know who eats more really, Goku or him. He literally puts down play after play and no one can stop him. And Brooke literally should be a registered offender. Ew, you nasty this man has to be stopped. He is the most perverted character of the crew, only in front of Sanji. Brooke is really out of pocket though, but he is relentless. He asks women to see their underwear and they hit him, but he still manages to keep going. Now finally Robin, who has an addiction to thinking scary scenarios in her head. But what do you guys think? What is Jinbei's addiction? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to get more One Piece content like this.